object of mass 100 kg falls from the point A to point B as shown in the figure, the change in its weight. So now what is this weight? Weight is basically the gravitational force by which the body is pulled towards the center of the earth, in this case the earth. Connected to its nearest integer is R is the radius of the earth. Okay. So at A, what is the force? The force experienced at A is G, mass of earth into this mass divided by, now it's uh, 2 Re. From the ground, it's 2 Re. Okay. So you sh we have to see it like this. Okay. From the center of the earth, it's Re. And this is 2 Re. Okay. At A. So therefore, it becomes 3 Re. So 3 Re whole square. At B, the force at B is going to be. So B is Re by 2 lesser. Okay. So therefore, this becomes 2.5 Re. Whole square. Now, what they're asking is the change in its weight. So, change is going to be Fb minus Fa, which is equal to That is the change in the weight. Okay, now G M E M by R E square. This is equal to M G. Okay, so therefore this is equal to uh, M G. So mass is hundred kg. Now why this is equal to M G? Because if if as it is mentioned in the question. G is equal to 10 meter per second square. So GME by R square is basically MG. Okay. So G is equal to 10 meter per second square. So what is this G? This G is basically GME by RE square. Okay. So this is 10. Okay. So this is 10. Okay, or this is acceleration due to gravity. So therefore, this is equal to mg. So now we have 100 kg into 10 meter per second square into now this we have to do. So this is uh, 1 by 2.5 square. So so this is 100 by 25 minus 1 by 100 by 25 whole square. Okay, because 2.5 whole square. So this is equal to um, we have 1.2.5 whole square. So 1 by 2.5 is 10 by 25, 5. So this is 2 by 5. Okay. So 2 by 5 is 0.4. So 0 0.4 whole square is 0 0.16. Okay. And it is 1 by 9. 1 by 9 is 0 0.11. Okay. So therefore, this itself is 0 0.15, 0 0.05. Okay. So this is 1000 into 5 divided by 100. Gone, gone. So this is 50, around equal to 50 newtons. So approximately it is easy you know equal to 49 newton okay because we have taken g as 10 meter per second square that's why we are getting 50 if we would have taken 9.8 we would have got exactly 49 so therefore the answer is a and in questions what we can do is also take g to be 10 and then see the answer whatever is the closest to it that's going to be because by taking 10 the calculation becomes easier